All right. Let's give it up for that last poet, though. I mean, that was great. Come on. All right, as you've all heard before, I'm Xavier Ash Whitney, the local yokel at Abraham Lincoln High School. Four score and seven years ago! <laughs> all right, all right, let's get started. <sighs> to be honest, I entered poetry only this year. I looked at the creative writing sign on the door thinking I'd meet my fellow authors, and instead I stumbled into uh, this. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, ah, uh, oh, crap. <laughs> to, and uh, like, I thought poetry only belonged to those artsy folk. You know the ones, holding cigarettes with them long, fancy holders, wearing hats filled with rocks, that told the others that only they had the eyes and ears for design. That they stood upon a great tower and looked down <laughs> upon us mortals. And I held spite against them for that. To be honest, I don't believe in gods or kings, only man, and the meaning that we create for ourselves and lives. The idea that fate exists for me, that all of our lives are dictated by some great fickle deity, puppeting our lives with seven billion marionettes, I, oh, I can't stand that. I have to be in control. Though, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I stopped wearing a fedora and started regularly shaving my neck beard to avoid the fingers and the laughter from the internet. I'm so afraid of other people's judgment, I don't even let my own family hear my works just so I can avoid this talk. To be honest, I despise myself for everything I've ever done as a child. For holding my parents together in a 20-year marriage doomed from the start simply by existing. That I wear down my lofty dreams of being an inventor down all the way so far that I just wanted to be a welder. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we come here to take our masks off, that for once a week or once a month, we can share our pain with the audience and in turn have it reciprocated. And for a while, well, what you've seen is a man of paper and penciled personality. And I'm usually happy with the crazed yokel mechanic persona that I give to people, banging junk together to open the God it works, wearing bib overalls because I'm just too lazy to pull my pants up and totally not because it keeps my back covered and I feel secure with them on, that I love machines the way I do, not because they're tireless and allow us to do great things as a species, but simply because I'm kooky like that. <laughs> And I've held out on, giving, on uh, trying to be creative for so long because it's not manly to show your feelings. And for every male persona that I've had in my life to look up to, they were all manly men, tradesmen. And well, it's not manly. But to be honest, it only takes a little bit of pressure to make a paper man crumble. <laughs> 